Hi folks, it's Mike here again with another video for you. Sometimes when I take a rider out for an observed ride, I will video it so they can watch it at their leisure and see what I see. These are normally for their viewing only, but sometimes they give you permission to use the footage. In the past I've updated a complete refresher ride, and I'll add a link to that up in the corner. This time I've clipped some learning points and good examples from the ride and compiled them to make this video. Thanks again to the rider who was happy for me to do this, having found my videos useful himself. Don't forget to leave me a comment or question. I try to answer all of them that YouTube notifies me of. If you find any of my videos useful, please share them on any forums or social media you may use. Until next time, keep safe. Okay, let's see what you can do. So for the benefit of anybody else that shows this video to, um, the commentary is recorded live, but there's no comms between us, so he can't see it as we're riding, or can't hear it, sorry, as we're riding. Okay, so as we go along, I'll uh, be controlling the ride with my indicators as usual. So I'll indicate a little bit earlier than I would do if I was normally riding by myself. So we're going to be going left at the roundabout. I'm indicating now. It's good, we picked it up almost instantly. So here I'll be just looking to see that, uh, we're checking that the entrances to the roundabout are clear. Nothing coming in from your right and also that you check to see nothing's come up the cycle lane so yeah don't forget the uh, near side check as you come off the roundabout so now we're going to head down and uh, do a little bit of residential riding so residential streets now lots of parked cars Reduce your speed nicely. About 30 limit along here. It's not safe to do 30 down here. So we're looking for reflections in windows and under the cars for feet and that sort of thing. Nicely done. And at the top of the hill, we've got a nasty off camber turn where we're going to be turning right. There's no priority markings on the road at all, so you've got two choices, either a hill start or control the bike on the clutch and peep and creep. So we've gone for peep and creep. Nicely done. Okay, be careful you don't get too pushy. And we can go left at the crossroads. Okay, so you rode out there without looking left. You just got to be. Don't just concentrate on the right. And then at the roundabout we're going to be going right. Good, we do a near side check this time. It's 
So the next roundabout I'll be looking to see what line you take through the roundabout. Will you go all the way around the outside or take a straighter line through? Could, probably could have been a bit straighter there. So the next thing along here will be uh, several parked cars and a 20s plenty for the school. This one being one of the mandatory versions with the red roundel. He did look like he was going to cross, didn't he? <laughs> so we've got a cycle lane up the left hand side of us and the possibility of vehicles coming in from the right. So just be looking for observation when you pull away. Good. And good. Yeah, don't get too close. Watch that car on the left, or van, should I say? Yeah. Again, don't don't wave them out. Just stop and let them come out on their own accord. So we can go left here. Well, I am. So we've turned left into a 20 zone, which is uh, just marked on the entrance. So while I'm sitting here waiting for you to uh, come back, I'll uh, just mention the furniture van. Um, Perhaps we could have just held back a bit further. We got a bit close towards the end. Um, by being further back, it had more of a view down the road. Good. We cleared to see what was coming from the, anything coming from the left. We're still in the twenty zone. watch that she's pulled away before we go. And this is a big old road for 30, so you just have to watch that uh, you don't get dragged along by other vehicles so we're not sticking to it. Good. 
Good, nice early position. So we're now approaching the deal carriageway where we're going to turn left. So uh, indicate a little bit early here just so you know. Good. So take note of the national speed limit sign here as we enter the roundabout because we're going from a 50 to a national speed limit. Again, don't get too close. We just have a little bit of space. You've got a learner at the front of the queue there. May end up stalled. All the caravans are out. So, the question I'm going to ask you at the debrief is, what's the speed limit on a dual carriageway? Again, this vehicle's waiting to come onto the roundabout, they'd appreciate you putting your indicator on. So back onto the national speed limit to your carriageway here. This one you do think is 70. May have an opportunity here coming off the roundabout and going up the hill to overtake one or two. Depends what they're what they're like with their accelerator. So with an early decision, you could have done what he's just done and had three or four going up the hill there. Again, good following distance. So just here you can now start to ease away from the near side. And we're going to go 
left here. Hello? Yes, you have seen it. road work. Okay, don't dance on the line. So all good stuff so far on the uh, V roads. Um, the little detour indicator was left on for a long time. Um, possibly we could have had the uh, Sainsbury van much earlier. We need, need to catch up to vehicles, otherwise the opportunity for overtakes is not going to present itself. So it's good you're doing a good following distance, but um, if you immediately switch into following distance, you won't get any overtakes in. Obviously you need to balance the two together. Yeah, in good position along here, equalising, back, back out towards the centre line, good. Okay, so we're now into Coddenham. Probably the world's longest 20. Just keep a close watch on the lorry ahead of these other cars, just in case it causes a blockage. Good position, good. Nice speed control. We've got a uh, bridge with priority to uh, traffic coming into the village. Don't go too early.
probably could have joined there into lane one quite safely. traffic today. And that is also what can happen if you leave a big gap up your near side. So we'll now head off to a cafe and uh, have a coffee and a chat about the ride. <laughs> 